can't get it though, Blaine. Are you ready for adventure? Subscribe now because we're getting ready for the Great Siberian Sushi Run. the dog. Okay, <laughs> come here Maggie. Maggie go. Oh. Okay, go Blaine. Go Janice. We're ready. Okay, ah! We're ready. Let's go! Go Brian, no, go Brian. Let's go. Let's go! Let's go! Dock reserved for store patrons well, only. Yeah, well, we're going to the store. Yeah, that's okay. We could just go around the back there. Well, why don't you just let us off there? Oh, yeah, it's good. Up to you. We're not going to be here that long, though. I feel like I'm going to be fine. Okay. Come here. Uh. This one looks like it's permanent. Uh, it could be. I love the rusty stuff. Geocache. Think that's what it is? Yes. Here. There's a locket lock. lock. Oh. <laughs> Go get the geocache. <laughs> okay, here. Video. Official geocache, it says right there. Official geocache? <laughs> we found a geocache. It wasn't very difficult. Wait, they have a Byzantine. It has been like years. They have a Byzantine thing here. Sister Benedict. Oh, it's Benedict nuns. Benedictine, that's what I meant. The fairy godmother second to none. Okay, I'll sign it. What day is it today? Um, that one doesn't work either. Just cut one of your fingers and sign it in blood. There's a little wooden thing in here. I'm sure the nuns will appreciate that. <laughs> Look, there's a little wooden thing in here, guys. Look yeah, at this. Very well. Looking at the ticks widespread in the islands. I know, I was looking at that. Sweet. There's a little star in here. 
Love hearing that. <laughs> and there's your little lighthouse. Okay, pokey cashers. You should have left the life jacket in the boat. Doesn't work anymore either. Okay. No, nobody knows. Okay, Blaine, put back the geocache. <laughs> Mr. Joshua took all of our hot chocolate off the boat. but I twisted it and it came on. Oh, then you're good. So I left it. How about a tongue cleaner? You need a tongue cleaner? Not an actual, oh, an actual tongue cleaner. I thought it was like a pet tongue. No, it is an actual tongue cleaner. I've never ever seen one in my life. Love hot cider. Thank Might have to get cider. a hot apple cider. Oh, I love the books. That is so pretty. Oh no! Oh really? No more hot apple cider? What size of mocha do you want? Um. 16. Perfect. And do you make tea lattes? I do. I'll have a tea latte with um, orange pico or like an English breakfast tea. I have English So it's like a London tea. fog, but not Earl Grey. Perfect. Just what size? Uh, same as the uh, mocha, 16? please. Yeah. Okay. So they definitely have a prop up front. Yep. So that's a double ender. We're getting the ferry feedback here from Brian, <laughs> the BC ferry engineer. Yeah, careful now. What do you think? It's green, I like the green. You like the green over yeah. the blue? Yeah, it doesn't remind me so much of work. Coming in right there. Yeah. All right. Uh, Woohoo! We are here. Yeah, I was thinking about it. Come on, do it! Right there! is a problem. I buy cider because of the label. Look at him! He's so cute! <sighs> hey, you get that into the freezer, it's melting. I buy ice cream because it's ice cream. <laughs> That's such a cool label. 
Okay, guests are over and we are cooking the crab in the Instant Pot. Two minutes on high, pressure cook, and the crab will be perfect. Okay, let's heat up the butter. Start in the microwave. We'll let that go, when it beeps, we'll come get it. But first it's Appy's on the aft deck. Because after that, rolling and schmolling, we need Appy's on the aft deck and wine. Appy's are all gone. Quick release the crab. She done this outside, you guys can smell it. The whole place smells like, like cooked crab. I don't know if I like the smell. <laughs> Let's see how the crab is. Look at that, people. Pot full of crab. Let's go eat. Okay, this is all Brian's crab trap. <laughs> Brian, good job catching these crab. <laughs> yummy, yum, yum. They're just, just <sighs> little, just little ones. Just had a shower. It was absolutely lovely. We are in an anchorage that is very well protected. And guess what? Night and day. We're gonna get we, some sleep. Yeah, after an amazing crab dinner. So everybody, good night. Good night. Now that was the sleep we needed last night. Oh, no rolling. It was awesome. Let's look out this eye. Look at this. Isn't it pretty out? Oh, exactly what we needed. A really, really good sleep. Okay, now to get a cup of tea. Pulling up crab, I just bet him that he's got 10 with six keepers, and he thinks he has six with three keepers. Let's see. Ah. Oh no! There goes one! Good one! Woohoo! One keeper! Oh no. That's all right. Just one keeper? Just one. Oh, we both lose. Yeah. Next time. <laughs> Oh, we like film misery. Because no, not everything's perfect on a boat. No. What happened? Got um, the carburetor was starting to get gummed up on the 99 again, and I went to take it apart. And of course, in my process of getting the carb out, I dropped one of the carburetor bolts. And of course, anything you drop when you're working on a tender is going overboard, and it went overboard. And we're not in a place where I'd ever be able to find it, even if I went snorkeling. So we are now out of a tender until we get back to civilization. Unless we're rowing. So yeah, that's it. We have kayaks. Mm-hmm. Might be using them. So I'm having a cuddle with my dog. So we couldn't find the bolt. No, but with some tragedies, you have a little bit of silver lining. So while looking for a bolt for the tinder, I found this, which we've been looking for an anchor latch for when we have the anchor up to keep it safe. And I found a brand new pinned latch, which is exactly what I was looking for on board. 
we won't be using any of that, but. Nice! Yeah. Now we just need to find a bolt. Yeah, I'm not thinking I'm going to find that bolt on board because it's a really long bolt and a metric really long bolt. So oh, bummer. Chances are pretty slim I'll find it, but. Oh well. Found that. So I made some phone calls around. Nobody has an M680 millimeter bolt. However, I have a very resourceful husband. And look what he did. If you don't have a 180 millimeter bolt, you make a 180 millimeter bolt. So it's just, I don't have my welding equipment on board short of my welder. So this was close eyes welding. No, we don't tell them but that. Shh, no, no, it's oh per per God. perfectly safe. Safety squinting. Safety squint. Not even a squint, it was a close your eyes. But yeah, just uh, welded a metric shank onto a imperial bolt, which we have. So now I can actually put the card back together again, hopefully. I don't have the, the sleeve, so I'm gonna have to be careful I don't crack the plastic. But, um, but even if I do, that part's cheap. But there we go. Two bolts. One uh, metric, one impetric. Impetric? Impetric. <laughs> Is that a new term? <laughs> it's just gotta last long enough to get us back to civilization. Okay, let's try this again. Round two. No swearing this time. No promises. So he's clean. Naturally, when things go sideways. So he's cleaned the carb. Now he's putting it back on with the bolt he made. Don't worry, Paul. We will put a proper bolt in there. This is just to get us using a dinghy while we're out here in the San Juans for the week with no dinghy right now. Paul will understand. He actually will think it's pretty cool. That was not a very, that was not a very graceful jump. Whew. Hmm? I think so. Oh, you're pretty clean. Watch that rock there. Russell. Russell. Watch out, Maggie. Hold on. Watch out, Maggie. Launch. You didn't check out the outhouse. Okay, I'll check out the outhouse. Check it out. Ooh, deluxe. It's got lots of toilet paper. Isn't it wild? Yeah. It's All neat cedar. and tidy and clean in there. Well, you can just see the top of Mount Baker. It's a nice little campsite. Yeah. <laughs> Maggie! Hey, where's our dog? Sideways, just like my morning. Maggie, let's go! In the boat! Here she comes! Maggie! Get in the boat, you numpty! Shower. Something dead. The sink's empty, we just wash her in the sink. Maggie likes to roll the dead fish. Do you All find dead fish? Neck. Oh, it stinks. She's so gross when she does that, but she loves rolling in it, but it just like absolutely reeks, and then Blaine touched it and now it's all over his hands. Guys, let's pick up the crab trap. It's right there. It's been down for about four hours, three hours, but we are heading to a new bay. So let's see if we've got some crab to eat tonight. 
and maybe we'll put down the crab trap in West Sound also. I'm ready. Starboard. are you going on? Starboard. Starboard. MY Tangaroa. Oh, here it comes. Feel like it's got crab in it? I don't know. Ain't got no crab it's in it. It's a free cr trap that we found. That is a eensy beensy teensy one. That is a wee little crabby. Yeah, I'm not gonna be eating him. Nope. I'll call that a bit of a, a bit of a bust on the crabbing. Hey, little crabby. Little crabby. Weep, 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 He's just weep. a little dungy. And is he male or female, Blaine? He's male. He's a male? Yep. We're gonna let him grow and we're gonna eat him next year. Bye bye, little dude. And the chicken wings. We'll give him some chicken wings as a surprise. Okay, let's go to West Sound. Oh, so how's the dirty dog? She's not happy with me. Hey. There you go. Good girl, Max. You're the one who got it all over your neck. Hi, Maggie. Just a neck, right? I think so, yeah. You're the one who did it. You're the one who got into the black stuff. Good girl. Okay, there you go, Blaine, your turn. Silly dog. Let's see. Oh, she's getting all cozy. still? No. Maggie, you're not happy with us? No? Okay, let's go. Ready to head off to West Sound? Okay. Massacre Island. Okay. Engine up. Let's go. Let's see if this this flies off. 